Right then, welcome back to Five. Stephen Alston, Joel Bayer, we're here with Jermaine Jenner. Special thanks to the BBC and a special thanks to Classic Football Shirts. As you can see, we've got loads of awesome football shirts. We're going to be talking to Jermaine about some of the ones that he remembers, he worn. We've got a big selection of England stuff and we've also got a big selection of random international stuff as well. Joel, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, look, 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 we all know, right, that it, you know, yeah. you're a bit older than us over here, right? <laughs> look so, yeah. you're right, yeah. So we're, not, we're, going to, we're going to skip the 82 shirt, just in case you don't know too much. Let's go to 82. This, this is a you Brian remember? Robson match yeah. model shirt. Do you remember that? I, only through like footage. Yeah. I, I, I kind of grew up, so like World Cup obviously is it's huge, but one of the big videos I used to always watch when I was a kid was like uh, the Brazil 70 when they, when they won that World Cup. So yeah. my history goes back, but obviously I think the, the, the knowledge is just from yeah. visuals I've picked up. And Basically, yeah. VHS and all that, yeah. yeah definitely VHS. <laughs> oh, well. I, get, I get the vibe. You want to say major What are you doing? I get I'm the just backing it up. <laughs> okay, so let's move it across to 1990. This reminds me of Gary Lineker going, hmm. Yeah. When uh, Gaza was crying, right? John oh, Barnes. yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, Do you remember watching this on TV? Oh, my God, that's my first World Cup. Really? My, Italian 90, my first World Cup. I can tell you everything God about yeah. that World Cup from uh, uh, almost like all the teams as well. Really? Um, and that is, yeah, that, I mean, Lineker, Gaza, Wadler, mm-hmm. all the boys, like, they, they Pass me did that us proud that year. I need to educate the people on, on something. Yeah, like talk, to them, this is, talk to them. I had this jacket, and you had yeah. this jacket yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. yeah. I had this jacket when we were growing up, right? <laughs> You don't know when you was on a plane in the nineties. Oh. You had to wear a shell suit. It was the 100%. rules of thing. I don't. It's like passport, shell suit, and you go. Like, <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, like yeah. you didn't travel. You go on a plane in jeans. Are you mad? Like wow. shell suits. Like it was just. If there'd have been a fire on a plane, no one's getting off oh, because no, you'd yeah. have just burnt to a crisp in yeah. this thing. Question. Don't wear it on fireworks, man. <laughs> Question: Did they have like tracksuit bombs for these? Or yes, and it was equally as mental. Really? Like, with all this stuff going down the legs. Yeah. Like, generally, look at this now. Like. You would wear this now, I think. Nah, bro. Nah, Have you not seen the, the PSG tops? I guarantee tops that they were. Yeah, Palace that's, that's released this. Though, man. Why is it? It's the same it's fit. Swag, so Palace man. released this. It's sold out. Oh mate, this is. <laughs> this, <laughs> I don't know about Palace, right. Palace, but this is this yeah. was this was top stuff. This was it, yeah. Right? Honestly, this was not. Yeah, he was legit if he was wearing this. Oh, I think what, I, I, don't think don't I had a fake one. I'm not gonna lie. I think I had a fake one. What are these strings doing? Why is this string in the middle of the chest? It's a vibe, isn't it? So this is it. Yeah, with a man back in the day when you had these. See, the blue shirt is the iconic shirt. but I don't ever remember him wearing it. I only remember the white one. My question yeah, is, JJ, when you saw, when you remember this specific blue one, who do you remember? I don't know. I just Peter Beardsley straight away for some reason oh, comes okay. to my mind. Really? Weirdly enough, yeah, that one Peter that Reed says Lineker well. and Barnsley. Mm-hmm. Peter Reid. Yeah, weirdly. Really? I don't think he was still in the England squad. Nah, I think this is Peter Reid times. Yeah, uh, maybe Defo. the middle one. Definitely the middle one. And this one, yeah, Defo. But no, I, I think Beardsley for some reason straight away. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Let's move it across. To World Cup 98. Oh, this was my first World Cup. Yeah, it was, it was a big World Cup. What a shirt, what a player. Yeah, honestly, man. What, oh, what a player as well. Thing. Listen, let me tell you, when you think of World Cup 98, for me, I think I think David Beckham, but I also think Michael Owen. 100%. You have to, right? A 100%. You were watching, but obviously I, we... You I, were, I remember, I think I was doing my stats at school. No way. And I remember they... Um, Year nine. <laughs> yeah, year yeah. nine, yeah, they well, put it, yeah. good knowledge, yeah. yeah. They put it on like, uh, actually there was no TV, but yeah. it was everyone, you remember how quiet you used to have to be when you was doing like your exams or whatever? Yeah. And all they had was like a, a whiteboard at the front and a teacher would just kind of walk up and it'd be like, you know, yeah, England yeah, against, I, remember, I think yeah. it was against uh, Switzerland when Scholesy scored. And they just put Not England. Tunisia. No, 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 Tunisia. Tunisia, that was the one. Sheeran and they just went, yeah, one, one. that was it. And, you, really? and the whole place would go, ah, So what, crazy. you couldn't watch it, you had to do your sets. Yeah. And they timed that wrong, I know. Man. And then you just had to go back to your work. I'm pretty no sure that was the way. game that they did it. But I, I watched that until you, that was about 10 a.m., wasn't it? I watched it, yeah. There you go, yeah. It's crazy. Wicked kick, man. Wicked kick. I loved it. And obviously, they Bex as one as well. Doing what he did, you know? What a shirt. So that's match one, right? Yeah. How did that fit David Beckham, right? Pull that Robbo one out and yeah. put hold it next no the first oh one. yeah it's true how is that because R- Robbo's way bigger than David Beckham as well and if if you remember that kit on Bex it was baggy it was baggy yeah because that's how I used to wear it it's a match one shirt yeah, yeah. It ain't going so on this that. is proper like David Beckham <laughs> size, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it was baggy. It was baggy. Yeah. It was definitely. Baggy. I think that might surprise you. I think if you, you put that on, that's bigger than you think it is. Proper, Whereas this is snug. snug. <laughs> that's you want to put it on? <laughs> that's not getting anywhere. It's near definitely me, snug. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, give it a go. Whilst, what, whilst, whilst we're doing this, yeah. talk to us about David Beckham. I know you obviously you, you've seen him yeah. like most of us. Who you played? Describe him. Yeah, yeah, I was at the 2006 World Cup with him. Um, Talk to just him. leader, just complete leader, really, but like, leader on the pitch. You know, you, he's one of those players, Bex, where, what a show. from my point of view, where you watched, um, you, you would crave certain things from captains. Don't get me wrong, uh, like JT, uh, Mr. OBE, Rio was yeah. very vocal. Mr. Uh, OBE, Mr. OBE, yeah. yeah. Thanks for saying up, by the way, Rio. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, he was very vocal, and 
got you motivated, whereas kind of you'd watch Bex and he would literally have the weight of the country on his shoulders and he would soak it up and deal with that pressure for everybody. So he's not, a, I couldn't imagine he ever was, but I, I want to get a bit more out of you on yeah. this. David Beckham in the dressing room, captain, because I've heard Rio, Tony Adams basically headbutting you near enough. Yeah. Like, are you ready? Mm. Like, going mad for it like that. And I can see that. Mm. I can't even picture David Beckham giving that little final word. No, I don't think he, he, he wouldn't. I, well, I can only go off the one World Cup I was with him. And, um, you know, that responsibility was definitely left to JT, to Rio. Really? Um, I think Gary Neville might speak up every now and again. It was kind of those players that would kind of have that final world. Wazza would jump in and say something. Bex was very kind of like unassuming in that way. He would just kind of, he always kept himself to himself. He would say a few things that kind of, and he was one of them when he spoke, you were like, what's, what's he going to say? You were gripped. Was it, was it that superstar aura? Let's be honest with you. I know we're not trying to like focus on a celebrity, but was it like you're looking at him and you know, he, he's a celebrity, right? But uh, even in the camp, because you got your stars and then yeah, you got yeah. your star stars. Of course, yeah. I mean, I, I had that the very first time I ever met him in a squad. I mean, yeah. I was like 19 years old when I very first joined wow. of England. And he was he's like one of the only players I've ever been starstruck by. Yeah. And for the, for, for the World Cup we went to, I'm pretty sure we were like, we were kitted out by Armani. And it's like the only because we had Bex, we were all kitted really? out in like Armani suits and stuff like that. And I remember kind of... Yeah, it's been Topman and Burton after that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. I, don't know, I remember all of us, like, when he would walk out, it was like, why does he look different to what... I've got the same yeah, suit. Yeah, same suit, but he, he, he just looks, looks different. different. He's quite different. I get so you. So he did that. So he like a wedding every year. Oh, mate. mate. Like, Excuse me, mate. You're What's going like, oh, on? You look better than a bride. What are you doing? It was crazy, innit? So he has got that celebrity vibe. But yeah. I, I, there was the one thing you could never question with Bex is the minute it was like training, game. And it's the ball involved. Yeah. The, the, the celebrity element was gone. He was yeah. competitive. He was quite horrible into tackles. And really? He ran harder than everybody technically, else. Technically, was he, how good was he Different gear. Like is beyond, it? like, I, I, you know, I always think he's almost like one of the most disrespected footballers around. Because really? I think people dismiss some of the things that he does. Like people really appreciate like a bicycle kick or a bit of skill. The, the accuracy level of what he used to do with the ball was was scary. You know, how he used to be able to land it and flight it to land softly or drill it in or when he was shooting. Mm -hmm. it, it was, uh, there was one session, quick story, when I was in South Africa and he sets up free kicks and basically they were, they were crossing balls. I think Phil Neville was crossing the ball to Scholes on the edge of the box. He was volleying them in. And then Bex is on the edge of the box to taking free, key, uh, free kicks. He must have fit like six in a row, top corner. Uh, uh, David James was just like that. No way. <laughs> he's just like, he, 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 there's no point in looking. But that's what oh. I'm saying. That level of accuracy is just not as appreciated as YouTube stuff. Yeah, I think I totally agree. I think Beckham's celebrity sort of somehow weirdly diminishes how Good of he, unreal he was. was. For me, yeah. from that moment, from yeah. the Simeone moment where he gets sent off wearing that shirt, the next 12 months I had David Beckham. He's going to say, even though Rivaldo won the Ballon d'Or that year, Forget he reckons though. Beckham... I reckon he was, he probably deserved They came it, head to head, right, in a group yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened? Rivaldo free, died for free a penalty, free all. and you have David Beckham bins in yeah. it. Mm. And those moments, you remember, the York and Cole little step yeah, off. Yeah, David yeah. Beckham I'll, I'll is involved. I'll be honest with you, you Rivaldo was, was tops that year. He was, was and he was second <laughs> but, to David but Beckham. But I get what you're saying, I get what you're saying. David I mean, Beckham, from that Beckham moment, think how low he was yeah. from yeah. this moment, from that red card. To come back and win the champions, to win the treble, yeah, they did him dirty. They did him dirty, they did him dirty. Greece as well, everything. Yeah, we got the Greece shirt there, although that's actually Gareth Southgate. Okay. <clears throat> you see, what is funny about this shirt is just uh, the Rio's dance is straight in my head. I don't That's want to give it too much love, but for some reason... All you, all you think of is this, isn't it? Yeah. No, all you think of is this. Oh, and that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. I've got that. I'll tell you what <laughs> I think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Cole won't thank me, but if you ever watch, um, there's a goal in that game. Oh, uh, well, it's a good thing, isn't it? No, no, because Ashley does this, but he breaks his legs. He's doing a little bit of break dancing. did Chris Brown before Chris Brown was around. So many of these England teams have lost in games, and I think Southgate's getting far too much credit because of the... The status the of where he's in. Gender, no, again, man. Look who that no. England team lost to. Rivaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. Mm. Behave yourself. And do you know what I'm okay. saying? And uh, look, I'm known for giving JJ a bit of stick online, vice versa here. But <laughs> if you couldn't get into that squad yeah. properly, like into the no, starting 100%, team, yeah, 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 yeah mate, you would be walking in this. Well, one, it's, right? well, that's the kind of like interesting thing yeah. I think when you look back on your career and you look at what the lads are going through now. With, you know, I can sit back and think about that squad in 2006 and being a part of it, and it kind of makes you go, yeah, I mean, Crazy. any, been doing any some player stuff that's like that, yeah. regularly playing for his club and not Gash is probably going to get a call up. Yeah, it's true. Right and, now. Even, and even some yeah. like that. Yeah, you could, yeah, I mean, you could, I mean, it's a slightly harshly put, but I, I kind of get what you're saying. <laughs> this one, this strikes me for 2006. This is the one you're on about, right? Is that a Beckham? Yeah, definitely a Beckham one. Do you know what's funny, right? 
the number seven after David Beckham. I think it was you, weren't it? I, I, a lot of the time, most of my caps I got for England was coming on for Bex, to be honest with you. Beckham's predecessor. Literally, yeah. Most of it is just pure me and him handshaking. Yeah. <laughs> Come on the pitch. <laughs> Cheers, Bex. Here we go. Another cap, I'll take that. Oh, that um, was hilarious. But no, yeah. Uh, I mean, Rooney. Yeah, it was yeah, a really yeah. well cut one. It with the foot, the metatarsal, and yeah. just didn't quite go for him. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Michael did his cruise shit on that in that same what, World Cup, what, and then we get knocked out by a very good Portugal team to kind of add to what you're saying about Brazil. Really. To go back to players, Wayne Rooney. Now, obviously, this World Cup didn't yeah. really go for him, but when you're training with him in England, mm. that's when you know it's levels in it. Like training, this, I think, this, this ain't Spurs. Training, <laughs> this is <laughs> training. It always exposed everybody. I always really. I, I I always really enjoyed training with England because yeah. you always had moments like you have the clamour from all of the press going, "Oh, this one should be in the squad. That mm. one should be in the squad. Mm. He shouldn't be in it. He should be." In it. I always used to sit there and think, right, I might be like back end of this squad. There was always like me, Cara. Owen Har- uh, Michael Carrick, Owen Hargreaves, Scott look Parker the, every now and again. Look at the players, bro, that you said were on the back. Scott Parker. Yeah, we could. Are you mad? Yeah, I mean, we couldn't get a game. We would have sat there, me and Carrick, most of the That's time. It was crazy. Like, it was Golden generation. Well, yeah, it was, it was tough. But, you know, I think it was just one of those generations that you just had to kind of accept. Because yeah, what was yeah. in front of you was, pre- was, was pretty That's scary. Mad. Yeah, it was, it was tough. That's mad. So you're saying Wazza. Wazza, different the game. He was, just, he was just like, I don't know, I always found in training with him... It, it, it was a match. Mm-hmm. He cared so much about every single minute of it. Tra- he's a good trainer. Unbelievable trainer, yeah. He was, he, you always wanted him on your team. It was different gear. Yeah, wow. Different gear. Good goalie want, as well. Really? <laughs> Weirdly enough, yeah. Do you want to stay on this, Steve, or do you want to move it across to... What we got with the last one now? What year is that one? That's Lampard, 2010. Oh, of course it is. How would it, mate? Yeah. See, they, they, the this is where girl. Umbro started going with a different sort of material for him. I like this shirt. Not it's nice, yeah. Sometimes you've got to keep it simple. Nah, but that's too Is this the Peter game, Savile man. design? Yeah. It's too plain. Yeah. Why do I know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah why do I know that? Oh, I don't know why I know odd that. information. <clears throat> There's weird information. There's another information. horrible way World Cup won it for us, really. What's your favourite, our is? For me personally, my favourite is, is probably this one, just purely and simply because it was my... We all remember our first World Cup, and that was a great campaign. Um, it's when I fell in love properly with football. It's when I decided to myself at seven years old, I want to be a footballer. Quite, yeah. And yeah, everything about that shirt is just very... Oh, that's quite iconic for me. You know what I mean, you've got so many moments. Gaza crying, Winnika's, Linica's look and all that. Amazing. But listen, JJ, 21 caps, one goal, two assists. Yeah. Your first goal yeah. is against Switzerland. Mm. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember it clearly. Yeah. Um, it was one of the main uh, times I was in an England shirt when... Wembley? Is it Wembley? Yeah, and wow. it's one of the main times where Capello... I've gone into an England squad knowing I'm going to start really and um, I just remember Joe Cole just doing a bit down the left hand side and I was in a really good goal scoring form got myself into the right position just stuck it away but at Wembley man it's, it's just different that feeling for, for England was, was scary yeah. what did you do that evening? no I just went home and celebrated to be honest with you it yeah. kind of takes a while to sink in you're a bit like I've just you know because I only I don't live too far so you're mm. kind of just like just bang one in down the road you know what I mean <laughs> 90,000 people it was, it, was, it was amazing it was, it was really nice Yeah. Oh, before we wrap it up we've got some moderation I forgot about them <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean so you mentioned you was actually in America yeah. for USA 94 94 yeah I was yeah my dad lives in America so he got me out oh, there for the World God. Cup mad do you remember that Alexi Lalas remember the guy with the ginger hair at centre half right was... see I said this as well name me one other player in that team uh, I reckon London, London Donovan was in that team. No. Kobe Jones, the right back, he had the dreads. Think, yeah, but I, I don't think London Donovan was I think it was a bit later. Was he a bit later? Kobe that's, Jones was that's, definitely in that's that team. definitely before my time. There's not many that. Definitely. Everyone would go, Alexi Lalas. Yeah. yeah. Name one more. Well, I've got Kobe Jones in there. I don't know if I can give you any more than that, but yeah, it's an iconic shirt. You, you said it was denim. It's it's denim. denim. Well, it's not denim, but it's got like a denim. I don't know how they wore it. It was so hot, like beyond hot. Really? I've been in New York when Ireland beat Italy, and I was just like, this is intense Crazy. heat. And that, oh, what a player. World Cup 94. Isn't it weird? I look at that, I just think about Baggio. I showed him, showed him, showed him, wait, wait, showed him the stuff on the front. The badges across. That's sick, man. That's wicked, man. They, they, they remember Beto. All, all I remember is this, bro. All I remember, all I remember is this. Oh. If you're not doing that in the playground, get out, you're not my friend. I'm yeah, telling you, man. Team go serious. to the France World Cup 98 shirt. Who do you think of? There's only me. It's the down You can go on, Come on. Honestly. This is my first World Cup. Yeah, it's yeah, 98, yeah. One, yeah 98, no one's thinking nine. Deschamps, are they? Nah. That's <laughs> one of the best really teams. Was, he was one of the but best midfielders at the time. No one is, are they? I was going to yeah. say, 
I, did Vier, there was a player that was serious that couldn't even get in this team. I think it was, was it Vieira? Um, they had a few. I don't think Vieira played in this team. I think no. it was Petit and Deschamps in midfield. Michael Ellen never got a sniff. Oh, he, he, was like, like for a, he was struggling for a long period though when was it came it to France. Was it Salah Vigo at this time? Uh, can't even remember that if I'm honest with you. You know who was, <laughs> hey, quick fact, who was, World Cup, who was top goal scorer for that World Cup for France? Uh, for France? Yeah. Elka? Nope. Thierry. You didn't, Thierry Henry? Yeah, I thought it was Thierry. Yeah, three goals. Yeah. Was it only three? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Zizou got two in the final. I'm telling you, man. It looks wow. like their goals were spread around. Don't forget, Lillian Thuram scored two goals in the semi final oh, right. yeah, as well. Yeah. So they spread it around. They're a team. They're a proper team. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Let's have a look. It's a nice shirt, but who is it? It looks like a Uruguay Doesn't. type shirt, but I don't know. Uruguay, really Uruguay, yeah. Quickly, I want us to jump to Ronaldo. He was a machine at this time, innit? Yeah. I don't remember that shirt. Oh, 2014. Yeah. Yes. Brazil World Cup, innit? Yeah. I mean, this is what's going to be fun about this World Cup, isn't it? Him and yeah. Messi going toe to toe for the last one. Who do you reckon? If any of them get it, I think Messi. Is it? I, I just think just the, team, the, teams the teams just built for him Got to you. do it. And in a final, if just those two oh, in the final, JJ. I oh, know. that'd be unreal. Wouldn't it would. Be, I go Ronaldo. Who do you? Who, go on, all three Clash. of us then. Who's winning this World Cup? Since I'm worried about it. I say Brazil. I think Brazil. they're a team. I think Argentina get it. I can with both of you to be honest, but yeah. just to be different. I really don't know. <laughs> You've got to wrap, really wrap it up. You've got to wrap it up. Not England. Let's yeah. say that. Anyway, shall we? Anyway, cheers to Jermaine. Thank you very much. Obviously, Joel. Make sure to subscribe and thank you to the BBC and obviously Classic Football Shirts. Go and check out some of their stock. Uh, but that Beckham one is going to be out of stock, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Peace.